Hello everyone, I'm Paul Nicolai Grimes. Will Ferrell's latest comedy has him begging for the win in Eurovision Song Contest, The Story of Fire Saga. It's now streaming on Netflix, and I want to talk about it. This is Paul's trip to the movies. Will Ferrell plays Lars, who has dreamed of w winning the Eurovision Song Contest since he was a kid. He and his best friend Sigrid, played by Rachel McAdams, are a singing duo named Fire Saga, who win a spot in the world-renowned competition after tragedy strikes Iceland's prized songstress. Fire Saga isn't very good and could be a laughing embarrassment for Iceland. It also stars Pierce Brosnan, Dan Stevens, and Demi Lovato. Eurovision Song Contest, the story of Fire Saga, comes with a really long title, which then leans into the spoof nature of the film. Will Ferrell co-wrote it with Andrew Steele, and it's directed by David Dobkin, who made movies like Wedding Crashers and Fred Claus. Now, this is a Will Ferrell comedy through and through. You, may, you have to know what you're getting yourself into and enjoy his movies to enjoy and have fun with Eurovision Song Contest. Much like Anchorman or Talladega Nights, he's written himself this larger-than-life type of character that feels ripped from his days on Saturday Night Live. His caricature-style acting asks a lot out of the audience, especially when he turns too immature to handle. He, along with the rest of the cast, don thick Icelandic accents and lavish costumes. Now, given the spoof nature of the film, don't expect this to be a movie that's actually about Eurovision Song Contest or its history, which is somewhat unfortunate given that the competition itself isn't well known to many Americans. This is merely the setting for the film so that these characters can then live out their dreams. We do get a little inside look at how it's all run once Lars and Sigurd actually make it to the competition, and many former contestants make cameos in the movie. The rest of the film feels like an extended Saturday Night Live sketch. Farrell may be milking for laughs too much, but the film has solid performances from Rachel McAdams and Dan Stevens. McAdams has shown her comedic chops many times before in movies like Mean Girls and Game Night. In a secret, she's really endearing and sweet and uses those qualities to let the comedy come through as she's reacting to Lars and the competition. There's a subplot of the film uh, with a potential love triangle between her and Dan Stevens' character, he plays Alexander Lemtov, the Russian contestant who feels part Borat and part uh, George Michael. Even Sigrid doesn't know if he's gay or straight, despite his heavy flirting with her. Both McAdams and Stevens ride that balance of heightened acting without resorting to shtick. Eurovision Song Contest, The Story of Fire Saga, clocks in at over two hours, which is far too long for this kind of movie. The film should appeal to Will Ferrell fans and fans of the competition. I do give him credit and kudos for bringing Eurovision Song Contest to a larger American audience, but I'm giving the movie two and a half out of five ticket stubs. If you like my review today, click subscribe on my YouTube channel. I have some other movie reviews as well as some celebrity interviews. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Paul's Movie Trip, and then go to my website, paulstriptothemovies.com, for even more reviews. Thank you so much for watching my review of Eurovision Song Contest, the story of Fire Saga. This is Paul's Trip to the Movies.